walk the hawk. See, walk the hawk. See, walk the hawk. Listen, if you're looking for fitness advice, nutrition advice, bodybuilding, weight loss, whatever you need, make sure you come subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into the video. See, walk the What's up, YouTube? It's T Walk the Hawk. So I'm going to start today's video off like this. All right, so you take some photos for Instagram, Facebook, mostly everybody has some kind of social media. So you take some photos, right? You take them, you like them, you might edit them up, you really like them. Now what happens when you go to post that photo? As you upload it to Instagram, start to edit it or, you know, put your headline or whatever, you're going right on the picture. Before you press that submit to post it, you start to not like it. And you liked it originally, but what happened? What happened was, and I'm the same way, you start to think what other people may think of the photo. Now, you can't worry about what other people think, and that's the problem, because people are always gonna have something negative to say, especially when it comes into fitness, and bodybuilding, weight loss, whatever. No matter what, no matter how good you think you look, there's always gonna be one person, if you have a YouTube, Facebook, any kind of social media, Instagram, is going to usually have something to say, especially on YouTube. They're going to say something smart, or they're going to be thinking something smart and tell somebody else about it. And you just got to learn to stop worrying about that, because like I said, you originally liked the photo, right? But now you're worried about what other people think. And people, like I said, are always going to have something negative to say, no matter what. You can look the best, best you ever looked in your in your eyes, and people ain't gonna think the same, and that's fine. You gotta learn to just accept that, post a photo anyway. I post photos all the time, and I don't, I love them, and then I go to post it, and I'm like, oh, well, my abs, my waist looks like it's sticking out on this, or my chest ain't as toned as I thought it looked when I first took it, and that's weird to me, because when, like I said, when I first took it, I really liked it. But now I'm pointing out all the flaws. My arm could have been flexed a little more. Maybe I should have put some oil so you could bring out this cut. Or I should have edited it this way so you could see these lines a little more. And we just got to stop stop worrying about that. Just if you liked it, post it. If you do a YouTube video and you felt you had good subject matter, good editing, post the video. Stop worrying about, oh, I could have edited this better. Or I could have did this, could have did that. And it's the same in life, even if you're not into fitness. Just think about it, if say you need a job and one job you know you definitely can get when nothing else is hiring is McDonald's or something. So instead of starting at McDonald's, you worried about what people think and now you broke when you could be making at least minimum wage, getting those 40 plus hours a week, putting a little bit of money in your bank account, but instead you worried about what people are gonna say, oh, you hear so-and-so, he working at McDonald's now. So what? Stop worrying about what people think. If you never started, you could start at McDonald's. You might be there two years. So what? At least that's two years of job experience. So when you go and apply for your next job, they'll see, all right, at least this guy can keep a job even though it was McDonald's. So that's going to give you, that's going to give you a better look on your resume than having no job experience, no work experience than even though it is McDonald's. So what? You got to keep building yourself up. Stop thinking about what other people are going to say. Start your own movement. If you want to start a clothing brand or something local, even if only a few people wear it in your hometown, start it. Who cares what people think? They're going to say, oh, so-and-so thinks he's this and that. He started his own clothing brand. You're right. Who's going to wear that? So what? Start it. Do what makes you feel good. Like I said, with your body, somebody's going to always say, even if you lose 30 pounds, somebody's going to look at you and say, you know, you're not toned or you don't look good or talk about your shape or say your abs suck or you need bigger shoulders, bigger triceps, a flatter stomach, a rounder ass, whatever. Like, so what? Be happy with yourself. Work on yourself. Keep yourself motivated. Build yourself up. And there's going to be positive people. There's going to be negative people. But... You just got to focus on yourself and maybe you'll get some positive feedback. Maybe you'll get some negative feedback. When I get negative feedback, sometimes I look into it. I think about it. If they say, oh, my shoulders are lagging, I might work my shoulders a little more, but that's just natural. But all in all, you got to be happy for yourself, work on yourself, 
and stop thinking about what others got to say because it's like I said, they're always going to have something to say. There's always going to be haters. There's always going to be naysayers. Keep pushing. Stay motivated. Hopefully this can make y'all think differently. And hopefully I can help at least one person out. That's all I'm here for. I don't care about views. When I get at least one comment, somebody saying that this helped them, made their day better, that's fine with me. But yeah, as always, do what you got to do because it's that simple. T-Walk the Hawk.